I've been really surprised. I'm not going to lie. I've been super surprised to see the amount of people, the amount of raves, the amount of collectives that have completely boycotted E1 ever since Ravers for Palestine did this amazing post where they exposed that the founder of E1, right? <laughs> the founder, one of the owners and founders of E1 was allegedly a member of the fucking Israeli Defense Force to the point where he actually went to Gaza recently, fought in the flipping war, the genocide of the Palestinian people, came back and carried on like nothing fucking happened. So they were able to discover this, unlock this, expose this. Everybody went into a frenzy. And I literally thought it wasn't going to do anything. I'm not going to lie. I just assumed because we don't have many venues, because people in London are full of shit, because the scene is a bit political and all this malarkey, I just assumed people just going to sweep under the rug and kind of turn a blind eye to it. Little did I know, little did I know that I was completely incorrect. So many people have pulled away and stepped down from flipping and playing at fucking um, E1. And one of the leading ones that I was surprised by, right, was obviously Freddie K and um, Club Verboten. They both have pulled away completely. And the Freddie K thing is a big deal because he was meant to play this event that I was actually meant to go to on the 23rd of March. And it's now been officially cancelled as a key vinyl event featuring Freddie K, D Dan, Rebecca Della Piani, and Antonio De Anglesias, right? It's meant to be an incredible night. At first, I think it was billed as a Freddie K all nighter. That, that obviously changed. But to get to see Freddie K and D Dan play again will be incredible. But unfortunately, it's been cancelled because they've all collectively decided we're not going to support e1 because of what the founder did so let's read what they said here courtesy of raven for palestine so this is a post from them on instagram it says freddie k d dan joined club verboten and others in publicly boycotting e1 in protest at his founders alleged military involvement in israeli genocide we urge teletech and other collectives to respect the boycott and withdraw their scheduled events it continues since revelations emerged about their founder e1 has failed to take any accountability or take any steps towards remedying the trust now one of the things they did try to do they did publicly say the founder or the owner has stepped away and the guy in charge now was, uh, you know, not involved with the Israeli Defense Force, even though he's Israeli, it's not involved in the thing at all. But people have obviously discovered that the guy had only stepped down from the role. He's still getting money from the club. The money from the club is still going to fund the war. So it got a bit sticky. So in general, because of their lack of clarity in what the situation is going forward with the management, people decided, you know, it's going to cancel that club overall. And the biggest thing i think they've really miscalculated e1 the biggest thing people tolerated them because they don't have many options fold is one of our best clubs here maybe the best club in the uk probably and then we don't have any other things you know that kind of come close maybe venue mot maybe uh, maybe color factory on some days but there's not many options at that kind of level but E1 was tolerated because as a club, it's fucking terrible. So I think they miscalculated it. They just assumed people would just kind of get over it and just join them anyway. But because the club was terrible anyway, people were looking for any excuse not to go there. And as soon as they found out the founder was a fucking member of the Israeli Defense Force, they were like, you know what? sayonara so it continues as a company as company house records have shown Yuval Hen that's the founder of um, E1 remained director and owner of E1 up until the 16th of Jan of February um, the day after the allegations of his military service were published and they obviously made it seem like he resigned in October when it happened obviously in February um it is, it is therefore misleading to describe him as a previous owner and to imply that he had stepped away from it before traveling from to Gaza. Ewan's new director, o Oren Arush, is the club's co-founder and Yuval Hen's business partner. We do not accept that this appointment represents a change in the direction of Ethos of the club, nor is it clear that Hen has been functionally removed from Ewan's operations. Under the current management, Ewan is not safe space for ravers and DJs of Palestinian or Arab descent. We continue to call out for call for all a full boycott of e1 until meaningful addresses its complicity in a genocide so it's pretty again it's pretty crazy to see this happening in real time um for all the big parties basically saying hey we're gonna not support you at all and basically cripple the club at its knees and without these parties the club, the club is absolutely nothing because it's not built on anything it doesn't really have a community the community that goes there are the ones that are obviously fans of the actual party so they're actually at the you know mercy of these club 
promoters, these collectives, these crews, they're actually at their mercy, unfortunately for them. It continues, um, we urge collectives who still have events booked there, including Teletech, Glove Season, Bass Force, or Base Force, sorry, Base Face, sorry, Parable to respect the boycott and sever ties with this venue. And we call on DJ schedules to play there to E1 to withdraw from their gigs. In financial pressures are preventing you from doing so, we can support you through our strike fund. Can you see what they're saying there? If the if the, you're missing out on money, don't worry, we're gonna support you. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. I don't really like how overly political the dance music scene is. Personally, I would much rather it be apolitical. I feel like political allegiances, no matter how dicey they are, shouldn't really factor into where you go and party and club. It's a bit stupid. But but I do respect people who actually do stand on their shit. Who do say, hey, you don't marry up with my politics. You don't marry up with my worldview. I'm not gonna support you. People do stand on their shit when it comes to clubs. I do like that, especially even DJs. So that's a good thing. I see people kind of following through. There's not a lot of people that are kind of full of shit in the scene when it comes to that sort of stuff. So let's see this post here, courtesy of D-Dan, his Instagram stories, announcing, I guess, that he's not going to be playing at E1. He said, we urge um, to communicate that the key vinyl event at E1 on the 23rd of March is cancelled after the acknowledgement of, of Yubai Hen's invest, involvement sorry, in the Palestinian genocide. He's one of the owners of the club um, who has been serving the Israeli army in Gaza territory territory we feel that this is the right decision who was also respectively accepted by the e1 office pre-sale re reimbursement tickets will be handled directly with the club via the pre-sale platform you know how just reading it aloud you know how crazy that is that there's a founder and owner of a club in london who you know went to go fight in fucking gaza do you know how insane that is it's actually insane i still don't have an idea or why specifically that one tiny country in comparison with other countries don't get me wrong i know israel is still a big place but i really am i'm really am confused why so many people involved in the dance music scene come from israel in the first place it can't just be the jewish thing i wonder what else it is about israel in particular that has a huge concentration of people who are into electronic music who are into dance music Maybe they just got a popping club scene there that I'm not really too sure of, or I'm not too aware of, but it's absolutely fascinating. When you look across Europe, most of the big clubs, most of the big agencies, most of the big labels have an Israeli element to it. Like most of them have. So it's been really hard for a lot of them to kind of come out and be like free Palestine when, you know, they have family that live in fucking that live in fucking Tel Aviv and shit. You know what I mean? Or they have family that have served in the IDF. It's really fucking crazy to see this play out in real time. It's honestly one of the most insane things I've seen in my life. It continues. Clever Boats also said the same thing. Following our recent developments, we've resolved to depart E1 and embark once more on the quest to secure space for our community. Come March, we'll be hosting events at different venues, though what lies beyond remains uncertain. Despite this tradition, we remain committed to supporting our freelancer suppliers, blah, blah, blah. And then again, we've got one from the, um, what you call it? What, what, what they called again? From the safe was that safety safe unity i think it's called right i think they were i think they were one of the people that are in charge of basically being the safety team inside of e1 and making sure people are dealt you know with some level of sensitivity and whatnot they said the struggle for our liberation has many fronts we are all in support of our friends at club verboten and recognize and appreciate the huge amount of work they've done protecting and advancing um, personal freedoms we remain opposed to the state of israel and it's brutal occupation of Palestine and are committed to taking action to the end occupation however we can. Our actions here are continually evolving in co-creation with a safe only team. This is core to our practice as a collective that exists to affect change across many different liberty fronts. Um, uh, da, da, da. in recognition of the joint struggle we also committed to ensuring safe um, intuitive working environments for our team we believe that cancelling our work with e1 was the right thing to do given relations revelations of the owner and then we continue here we've got one post again from sevens that says yep i'm disgusted by the news emerging about the owner e1 blah 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 so again like i said it's just interesting to see everybody pull away and then one of the most interesting ones i think personally to see was teletech because I was surprised because Teletech are like tech head, tech house heads and, you know, tech house heads. I love them. God bless those guys. But you wouldn't actually build them up to be the most, you know, no, sorry. You wouldn't build up, not Teletech, not tech house. I'm, my mistake, I take it back. They're obviously more on the hard dance kind of, you know, side of fucking techno, which is a little bit corny, a little bit lame, personally, in my personal opinion. And you wouldn't build them up to be like overly political or overly, overly socially aware. It all kind of feels like a bit of a cash grab, but credit to them, credit to them 
for severing ties with E12 because they had another big party also planned. So this is courtesy of Ravis of Palestine. It says Teletech servers ties with E1. The collective, which hosts some of the UK's biggest techno parties, which is very true. They're, they're definitely smashing in the UK. And, and this is definitely true. They're, they're UK wide. They're not just London specific. Um, which hosts some of the UK's biggest techno parties, has announced that all of its up and coming shows at E1 will be cancelled or rehoused. Every single one. God damn. They joined Club Verboten, Key Vinyl, and numerous leading DJs who've all withdrawn from E1 in recent days. It continues here. This is the post courtesy of Teletext's own Instagram page. We are aware of the situation surrounding E1. This Friday show, all future shows are in the process of being rehoused, cancelled until we find a viable venue option to accommodate them. We had committed 10 plus shows between now and the end of the year. God damn. We update the full once we have further news. So E1 might actually be on its knees. I'm not going to lie because losing Teletext is a big loss. Because that's a big promoter, big collective, big party crew with obviously like their whole library full of DJs that they kind of support, fans that kind of love them and shit, probably sell fucking merch at E1 that does probably numbers. So they're losing a lot of people coming through their doors on a weekly or weekend basis. So this is definitely going to sting. Definitely, definitely going to sting. So I'm actually, I, I would actually be surprised to see E1 you know survive the end of the year at this rate if they don't come out and actually say hey the owners are all changing we're all kind of doing different directions we've got these people in charge be very upfront and open about it i don't actually see this club surviving end of the year because they've lost a lot of big names a lot of big names this is a significant win for the ravers dj collectives who help generate and um, build momentum around the boycott the withdrawal of Teletech is the largest party associated with E1 is a massive blow to the club's bottom line and remaining credibility with the techno scene. We call on parties and DJs and events to book to E1 to follow Teletech's example and cut ties with this rapidly collapsing in enterprise. Any artists financially affected by the boycott are welcome to apply and support through our strike fund. So big up again, big up, big up, big up um, Ravens of Palestine for standing up for standing on what they're standing on. E1, I think, could have dealt with this way better. They could have been way more transparent in order to kind of make sure that people know, hey, we're not doing this for that thing. We're going to do it in a different direction. But the fact that they haven't said anything, the fact that they haven't made things clear, I feel like speaks to their intention, speaks to their mindset. And maybe it's for the good that they're going to go down, to be honest, because they're not really in it for the right reasons. They're obviously not really understanding of their community that they've kind of by default kind of had in their club because the parties they've had there, there wasn't really sensitive or understanding of it. And maybe this is kind of quote unquote their karma for it. I personally don't believe in like purposely going out people's business like this, but if you're you know if you've got a founder that's legitimately responsible for killing people <laughs> in a genocide like all bets are off you know what i mean it bloody is what it is so like especially when you look at the, num the, the number of deaths in fucking gaza like what last time i checked like over thirty thousand compared that to israelis i think it's like under five thousand like you can clearly see that you know it's a bit of a one-sided complete obliteration of people over there um to the point where you, you feel like they want to take out the entire place um so to have a, f a f owner of that club be associated with that mess you can't come back from it so it's probably not that big of a surprise to see what's happening in some cases but i am surprised to see some of these raves especially teletext being a big one uh be this kind of politically aware socially aware and kind of quote unquote do the right thing going forward and most likely i feel like it might actually improve its reputation with a lot of people they might be like you know what i don't rate teletext i don't rate the rave the raves i don't rate the people that go there i don't rate the djs but they stood on their business they kind of backed people um you know they did it because they're, they're losing our money too by not having these events they stood up for the palestinians in in, in their own way um so big up them for doing what they're doing and we're, i guess we we'll wait and see what's happening but i'll be surprised to see e1 survive to the end of the year i'll be absolutely shocked it's not gonna happen